Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Which live weather is best for you? Coming up on today's episode of 2020 Flight Simmers. Welcome back. In today's video, we will take a look at two add-on weather applications for Microsoft Flight Simulator and we will be comparing them to the in-sim live weather. The add-ons that we're going to be using today are X Enviro and the new Active Sky FS. We'll first visit the developer's websites, go over some of the features in both applications, as well as the big thing, the price. After that, we will hop into Microsoft Flight Simulator. I have a list of about six airports that we're going to be testing with different weather patterns in each location. We will first be comparing the new Active Sky FS to the in-sim live weather. Once we are through with that, we will then be comparing X Enviro to the in-sim live weather. Now I had to do it this way because of the length of time that it took me to go to each airport individually and load in all the scenery. So it took me about an hour to shoot each six airports. So there's about an hour's difference in time between when X Enviro was shot and Active Sky FS. So that's why I can't really compare X Enviro to Active Sky just due to the length of time that was in between. Now there's a couple things that we want to look out for when we're watching the comparison. The first thing is performance. How does each one of them perform compared to the Microsoft Flight Simulator in Sim default live weather? We will next be taking a look at all of the cloud formations and how they look compared to the Microsoft Flight Simulator clouds. Now, there's a couple things that we're not going to be testing in today's video, and that is going to be turbulence. It is very difficult to replicate the exact same turbulence in the exact same location. The next thing that we're not going to be doing is looking outside of our window and comparing that to what we see inside of the sim. The information that is depicted in the sim on any of the weather applications or engines, they are only giving a rendition of what they are receiving as far as the information from all of the weather services at each specific location. Lastly, I also want to take a look at any variation of the weather between the Microsoft in Sim Live weather and each of the weather engines. So with that being said, if you have any comments or questions throughout today's video, post them down below in the comments section and I'll get right back with you. If you enjoyed today's content and find it useful, make sure to hit that subscribe, tick on that little bell, and smash that thumbs up button. It is greatly appreciated. All the links for the applications will be down below in the description. I have no affiliation to any of the developers and I use my own money to pay for each of these applications so you don't have to. The first application we're going to take a look at is X Enviro 2020. Now let's take a look at some of the key features that they boast here below. Real-time meteorological data with refresh interval from 5 to 60 minutes, historical weather data, atmosphere condition based on dynamic prediction, simulation of in-cloud turbulence, surface crosswind components, seasonal data processed by their servers all year round, all the weather and atmosphere heavy calculations are executed on their servers. Feature to look up the current METAR and TAF reports. Feature to display METAR reports. And options to change flight simulator toolbar appearance and size. So the next question you're asking is, how much is it? So let's scroll down a little bit more, and you will see the price here at $42 US. Good Lord, that's a lot of money! And we're going to see if that justifies the price once we hop into the sim. The next application we're going to take a look at is Active Sky FS. Once you're on this page, we can scroll down a little bit to the features section and let's take a look and see what this has to offer. Direct Microsoft Flight Simulator integration. Now keep in mind that each of these applications do require an ancillary application to be running alongside of Microsoft Flight Simulator. Next, we have preset weather and passive weather depiction modes. This will allow us to switch back and forth between the in-sim live weather and the active sky live weather. Next, we have active air effects, customizable clean air turbulence, thermals, drafts, and wake turbulence effect. We also have an option to show advanced historical weather, enhanced cloudscape and thunderstorm depictions, advanced data collection, synthesis, modeling, and interpretation, ground snow simulations using actual global ground snow depth data. Ground snow cover is controlled and smooth at all times in active sky preset depiction mode. 
vote. And if you scroll down even more, they've got a bunch more information here about the application. Active Sky FS for Microsoft Flight Simulator is €29.99. Euros. And for everyone in US, €29.99 Euros is just about a little over $32 US. So yeah, pretty big price difference there. All right, so before we jump into the comparison videos, I just have one more thing I wanna let everyone know, and that is we will not be going over the individual applications. There is a bunch of different features inside of ActiveSky, and there's not many features that we have available to us inside of XEnviro. So without any further ado, let's hop into the sim. Ladies and gentlemen, from Mandalay Bay, Las Vegas, uh, let's get ready to rumble!
All right, so that's going to wrap us up for today's video. Thanks everybody for joining us here on the channel. If you have any comments or questions, post them down below in the comments section and I'll get right back with you. If you haven't done so, make sure to hit that subscribe, tick on that little bell, and smash that thumbs up button. To all my flight simmer friends around the world, keep the blue side up, and we will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching everybody.